Hi everyone, I'm Pastor E, and today is day 12 of our Lent devotionals. Today's devotional comes from Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 through 8, and it says this, Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who as he already existed in the form of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped but emptied himself by taking the form of a bondservant and being born in the likeness of men and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, death on the cross. You know, the goal of any devotional and life on earth for that matter is to point to God. The goal is to bring us into a closer relationship with and a greater awareness of our Savior. I want to be someone who says, here I am, send me, as the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 6 and 8. Regardless of location, proximity, timing, or circumstance, Lord, send me. Notice, I said I want to be. This is not always the case. In fact, most, most of my frequent request of God is that he will let me see with his eyes and love with his heart. But as I unpack these verses, my spiritual assignment once again becomes one that I cannot accomplish by my own human effort. That is why passages like Philippians 2, 5 through 8 are both encouraging and daunting. Verse 7 says, But emptied himself by taking the form of a bondservant and being born in the likeness of men. That word in verse 7, emptied, if you look it up, and it literally means poured out. That verse says that if I want to have the same attitude as Jesus, I need to take me. All the things that I believe, all the things that make up my unique self and pour them out for the benefit of others. Jesus was well aware of his position. He was well aware of his privilege and even his true power. Yet he chose to pour all of those things out, to empty himself of them for our good. There's no greater display of love and strength than Jesus. He voluntarily set aside his position as the almighty Lord and then allowing humanity to offer it back to him if we so choose. You know, power on display was not how Jesus chose to display his deity. He deliberately chose authenticity, vulnerability, and humility. I love that about my Savior. I also love that I can never live this way without divine intervention. I can't muster up the courage to live this kind of authenticity in front of people who potentially could use my vulnerability against me. Fear will always drive me to abandon authenticity and take refuge behind position, privilege, and power. Those things produce pride, which is the exact opposite attitude of the Jesus attitude described in these verses. Let's take a moment and thank God for his presence in our lives, for the Holy Spirit whose participation in our daily lives allows us to live beyond our fears and pour ourselves out for others. I encourage you to strive for this attitude of Jesus and seek to live with authenticity, with vulnerability and humility in all things, remembering always, that Jesus does tell us to take heart because he has overcome the world.